Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. Let's walk through a neat little thing you can do with Wireshark and it's capturing from multiple interfaces. And uh, this is relatively, I'm gonna say a recent feature. And when you go to capture interfaces, uh, you'll see a list of all your interfaces, obviously. And what you can do is put a little check mark beside more than one. And by doing so, you can capture, obviously, from two interfaces. So if you had two connections on each side of a router, a firewall, um, in this case, a Wi-Fi and a LAN, you could actually capture the packets from both sides of the network at the same time. And you could find out if you have packet loss or packets are out of sequence and that sort of thing. So let's take a look at this. I've done that. And in this case, uh, because I've done that, it says here at the top, there's a star and a two interfaces. It's kind of a notation telling me there's two interfaces. And the question that typically people ask me when they try this is, all right, Tone, so which packets are from which interface? It doesn't seem obvious. Well, inside the frame header here, there's an interface ID, and that's telling you zero meaning the first adapter, and then one would be the next adapter. So let's actually add this as a column. If I right click, and I take a look here, it says apply as column. When I do that, you can see interface ID and there's zero. If I move down my trace, then obviously I'll see a one pop up sooner or later as well. And obviously if they were interwoven, then I'd see it back and forth. Um, the only other thing I do cosmetically here is if I right click on this header, I can edit the column details. And then I might just want to simply um, abbreviate this um, instead of interface ID, just call it INT for example. And by doing that, it kind of gets a little smaller, gives me some screen real estate back. Uh, if you just wanted to visually see, you can just always apply your standard uh, display filter by right clicking and then apply as filter selected. And by doing that, now I only see the packets from interface zero. And if I change this to one, I would only see the ones from interface one. So there you go. Neat little trick, cool feature. Have a good day. Bye for now.